So the Xtool D1 is a pretty good open air diode laser, but being open frame has its flaws, like allowing all the smoke to just fill the room. And it has laser light leakage that can damage your eyes or your loved ones or pets. And of course there's ways to mitigate all of this on your own, but Xtool has made an enclosure that will solve most of these problems. And they were nice enough to send me one to check out. And as usual with our products, everything is really well packed using high quality materials. And of course it comes with instructions so you can see how to put it all together, but it's so straightforward you really don't need them. It does come with an exhaust outlet along with the fan and six feet of ducting, and this is all three inch ducting. First impression of the material and everything, it seems to be really high quality, a little bit of flex to it, and very heavy for what it is. And it's nice to see that it has a piece of green polycarbonate, so you can actually see into it without it hurting your eyes. And it does come with its own power supply for the fan, along with mounting hardware. And here's just about all the parts out of the box, unwrapped. But if you did want to see the instructions, here they are, it's basically just pictures. So very easy to follow. And the first thing I need to do is put the exhaust fan on which is simple enough, and as soon as you plug it in, it'll turn on, so there's no on and off switch. I happen to have the air assist with my setup, and they didn't forget to leave a port for that, which is really nice. And there's no tools needed putting this thing together, it's all held together by Velcro. And with all of the Velcro stuck in place, there's just two snaps left, on either side to keep the top propped up and easy to close. And when it comes to closing it up, it has two magnets in the front to make sure everything is sealed. And with the enclosure set up, I can put my air assist line in and plug it into my laser head. And this will also keep it up and out of the way of everything too. When it comes to the side of this, it has openings so you can plug everything in, but it doesn't line up right, meaning I can't power this or plug it in or anything. But I found out this is a change due to the riser sizes changing over time. So I ordered some of their new ones and swapped them out and everything lines up perfectly. And you can use this at three different heights inside of this enclosure. And the last thing I need to do before I can use this is hook up the end of the exhaust. But there's a small problem. It's a little bit smaller than the exhaust I have in my shop. So I just designed an adapter and then 3D printed it. And if you don't want to design one of these, I'll have a link in the description below so you can download the STL and print one for yourself. And here it is all set up, and you can see it takes up quite a bit of room. Almost as much room as my CO2 laser. But this laser pretty much lives right here due to it being extremely heavy, and it's not really meant to be moved around anyways. And the X-Tool setup can be hung on a wall and everything else can be packed away pretty small. But with everything all set up, let me test it and see if it actually does anything. So to get a lot of smoke, I'm just going to do a deep engrave onto some wood. And as you can see, all the smoke is being pulled over to the side where the exhaust is and being pulled away from the machine. And that's even with the little front flap of this open. So let me close that up and I have absolutely no smell of smoke in my room. And here's the finished engraved piece. And this isn't going to change how your cuts or engraves are going to turn out whatsoever. It's only here to help you contain all the smoke and vent it out properly, along with protecting your eyes and the eyes of others. As I'm doing another engraving test on a material, I wanted to check the air quality. So I bought this air quality detector. And this is pretty much the normal air quality of my workshop. And this is sitting right on top of the enclosure as it's engraving. So not bad at all. But if I just hold it right inside of the enclosure as it's engraving, here's how bad the air quality is. So this whole setup is definitely working and making it so the entire room isn't being filled with smoke. And one thing I forgot to mention is this is made from fire retardant materials. So it's not going to catch on fire on you if you happen to have a fire inside. But if you're looking to get one of these, they're $160 as of recording this. And even if you don't have an X-Tool laser, most lasers on the market will fit inside this. And as I was getting the screenshots, I found out that they have an extended version of this as well, because there's an extension kit for the D1 laser cutter, which I had no idea about until right now. So to sum up all my thoughts on this, it works really well and it is very easy to set up and take down and store. But let me know what you think in the comments. But anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!